Ash, my name is Nerd Tori here. How are we? Hope you're all doing well. So it's that time of year again. Christmas has just passed. We are currently in this week where it's a weird time period. No one knows what day it is. No one knows what time it is. No one knows what you're supposed to be doing. So I thought I would share with you what I got for Christmas. And I know this is not everyone's type of video. So if this isn't the kind of thing you enjoy watching, just click off. I have plenty of other videos on my channel that you may enjoy. But if you are interested in seeing what I got, Thank you for watching. So I'm not going to do this in any particular order, just in the order that I grab it from and obviously I'll tell you who it's from when I get it. So I think we'll just start off with this which was on the top of the pile and this was from my mum and dad I believe. And it is this Winnie the Pooh like it's a wooden plaque, it's like a decorative board. It's got the whole gang like painted on there and I don't know if you can see it's got like a real glittery border to it and it's got some glittery pine cone details. That's so cute. Just like to hang up in my room somewhere. But yeah, I'll just wrap that back up in its little plas this little like paper wrapping just to keep safe for now. Then this next one, it's a calendar and it's tradition in our family that obviously like calendars and diaries are things that you know you need every year. So it's a tradition for our dog to get look everyone their calendars and diaries. So this one's from my puppy Eddie. He got me the Winnie the Pooh calendar. I'm pretty sure it's the same one. Well, not the same one because obviously the pictures are different, but you know what I mean, like the same company as I had this year and the last year. Winnie the Pooh, any day spent with you. And then look at the pictures from the months that you get. It's so cute. One of the long calendars, so you get a nice, get a nice bit to write, write along on the net days. So, so cute. Okay, next I have some goodies in this box from my mum and dad, so I think we'll go through those. Lots of goodies. So these are from a, these are all the Happy Meal toys from a McDonald's Happy Meal from like, I don't know, whatever year the Tigger movie came out, which I want to say was like 2003 or something like that. But yeah, it's the whole collection of the McDonald's toys, so I'll just show you. And so because it was for the Happy Meal for Tigger movie coming out, most of the characters are dressed like in Tigger costumes. So here you've got Pooh wearing like a Tigger hoodie. He still has his red t-shirt on underneath which I thought was cute. You've got a little rabbit. Adorable. Then you've got little Roo and Kanga and Kanga's wearing like a little party hat with Tigger stripes on. Then we have Piglet and Piglet's just wearing like a scarf with Tigger stripes on. And we've got a little Eeyore and look Eeyore's wearing again a little hat. The same as Kanga's I think. With... And then we have the man himself. Tigger. And there is one more, and the reason I saved this one for last is because this is actually the first time I've ever had this character in my Winnie the Pooh collection. If you've watched my collector videos before in the past, you'll know you can't get anything with this character on. Um, and then, yeah, he was included in this Happy Meals toy from 2000s. And it is Gopher. Look, he's got his little hard hat on with his little torch. I don't, it looks like the torch did originally work like once upon a time. It does, look. You press and hold it. <gasps> that is so cool. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm. This is the, literally in my entire collection, like plushies, figures, anything. My Winnie the Pooh collection in entirety. This is the first Gopher thing I have, so I'm very happy about that. Just put them back in the box for safekeeping. But these were all from my mum and dad. Okay, next up, also from my mum and dad. These are so cute. And as you're watching this, you're watching this on Friday the thirtieth, which is when I fly to Disney World. So I think. Tomorrow for me, which is actually like two days ago for you, time travel, hey, I'm doing my nails ready for holiday. I'm also going to do my roots and all that, but I'm going to be using these and look, I'll show you one at a time. They're Winnie the Pooh nail stickers. I've got two different sheets. I think this sheet might be my favourite look. Look how cute it is. I know you're catching the glare of the ring light, but... I was very excited by these. I've never seen something like that. That is so cute. Also from mum and dad, I knew I was getting this because I was there when they brought it. And if you follow me on TikTok, you will also know that I was getting this because I filmed a TikTok of it. And actually, funny enough, that TikTok I filmed of this item went pretty viral. It is currently, let's just check what it's currently sat at. Okay, the TikTok video which I filmed, including this item, is currently at 807.9 thousand views. That is a big number. Anyway, it is this Winnie the Pooh Snoody set. It's from Primark. Obviously I know that because I was there when I got it. 
and I really like they had quite a few of these in different characters and look they've like really nicely gift wrapped it and I like, like the box and all of that and then yeah just down here it shows you what you get so you get obviously the snooty and some fluffy socks um, and the hood is to like Winnie the Pooh and then you've got an overall pattern I'm obsessed with snooties this is my third Winnie the Pooh one and they're honestly the best thing ever and I love that it comes with the fluffy socks to match so yeah that was from mum and dad okay and this next item is also from mum and dad and it is so cool it is the Winnie the Pooh Amazon exclusive Funko and it's from the VHS covers series so it's to look like the front cover of the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh movie so you've got Pooh like flying a kite and you've got like movie background in the back and it's such I've never I know they do a few of these in this VHS collection but it's such a different shape for a Funko I don't know how I'm going to store this on my shelves it's like long and thin but I really love this I've wanted this for so long he is so cute okay next we have some more, some stuff from my brother and his girlfriend and they're all plushies and they're all Christmas related ones which was quite cute first we'll start off with this guy we have little Pooh with his Pooh t-shirt and he's got a little Christmas hat on then we've got Tigger and look it's, I find this really cute it's like a, it's a Christmas hat obviously it's a Santa's hat but it's like not in the shape of a traditional Santa's hat it's like a little typical you know bubble hat which I thought was really cute and then we have Eel and he's got some antlers on but like obviously from where it was packaged and it's got like squashed down a bit so I just need to try and like shape his antlers back up but yeah and look his tail has velcro to come on and off I love that these three were from my brother and his girlfriend okay next we have some more things from my parents and I do have some of these already in my collection um, and I'm just waiting till like I have a good place to hang them up because currently I don't have much like wall space so they are these canvas prints so I'll start off with the big one first where it's got all the characters on and it's just this really beautiful colourful canvas as you can see and then I had actually seen these ones before so that's quite cool they're just the same canvases but in smaller designs so we have Tigger look he's got a little bee on his nose I love that got Piglet just looking down at a little ladybird and Eeyore how cute was that he's like playing with a ball and just like staring at a butterfly I love how colourful these canvases are oh, I also got there's another one there's Pooh how could I just forget I was just rummaging through the bag and he'd got separated from the others but there's another mini one of Pooh and he's like is that a... I could never tell if they're chickens or ducklings let's call it a duckling because that makes more sense to me in the hundred acre woods I don't know why there'd be chickens <laughs> But yeah, there's Pooh playing with a little duckling. That's really cute. Then keeping on with like the pictures and canvases theme, we have a couple more from my brother and his girlfriend. But they're a little different to the last ones. So these are very like original vintage style Winnie the Pooh. So I'll show you this one first. They're literally like sketches of the characters in I find this like how they've they've got it, like the sketch in the wooden frame. I just really like that. So you've got a sketch of Christopher Robin, who Oh, Piglet's there as well, and Eeyore trying to catch Tigger. You know, they've got the blanket trying to catch him from the tree. And this other one is actually one of my favourite, like, old style one of the Pooh pictures. Um, you've got Pooh and Piglet walking in a snowy scene, and you can see all their footprints behind them. So yeah, those are both from my brother and his girlfriend. And next is from my parents, and I absolutely love bows. I'm one of those kind of girls, and what's better than a Winnie the Pooh bow? Look at how detailed it is. It's like on one side over here, you've got a really sparkly honey pot. In the middle, you've got Pooh, glittery. You've got his ears, and it's in the Pooh colours. I absolutely love this, and it's just on like a little crocodile clip. But how cute is that going to look? I can't wait to wear this. I'm tempted to pack it for Florida, even though I've got all my outfits planned. I'm still tempted to pack it. Just, I love the sparkles. That is so cute. And keeping on with the theme, this came from my best friend. It is a Winnie the Pooh desk calendar. So it's one of those ones, it's got the, set it up on the stand like that. Sit it on your desk. That's what January looks like. You've got like, cute little quote, better things ahead, and then a picture of Pooh and Piglet. And then you've got all the days along the bottom. I think I'll probably have this sat next to my computer for whilst I'm editing. Because quite often I just need to like 
get up my phone or the calendar on the computer just to look for when I'm scheduling in things. So that'll be handy, just have that sat by the computer so just I can have a visual of when I'm scheduling things in. And there's just on the back all of the designs for the year. And this is the last thing that came from my brother and his girlfriend, again sticking on with our theme. And it's just in a little box, so you can't tell what it is, but I'll just take it out. And I'm sorry, I'm saying sorry to you, but I'll edit out the sound for you. I need to more apologise to me. I need to, I hate the sound of polisiring, so I hate it. <laughs> they got me this really cute, really small snow globe. And it's a very like Christmassy theme. So the base of it is like the Hundred Acre Woods, but under snow, like, can you see that? Like there's the Poo Sticks Bridge and there's just loads of the trees all covered in snow and the actual snow globe itself has got Pooh wearing a Santa's hat just leaning up against a pile of presents <laughs> I love snow globes that is everything that my family got me and then the next two things are from my works so first up, um, in case you didn't know, I have a voluntary job with hedgehogs I work at a wildlife centre that specialises in hedgehog rescue and rehabilitation and so this is from the owners slash the hedgehogs. They always do that for my birthday and Christmas, they do slash hedgehogs. It's just this really cute like hand care set. That is really cute, love it. And this is from my job, they got me this like hot chocolate making kit so you get this really cool penguin mug in it. Is that milk? Yeah I think that's milk chocolate some white chocolate back there i love white hot chocolate i always get it when i go to tim hortons it's never something like i make at home so now's a good excuse i love white hot chocolate also get some marshmallows but i'll probably trade them off with a family member because i obviously can't eat marshmallows um but i thought this was a really cute little gift i love that it comes with a mug it's really fancy and with the bow on top and everything we love it and just a quick little so we have still got everything i got in my stocking from santa but i just quickly wanted to note here that if you've watched my videos before, you'll be aware that I have a best friend in America. She lives over in Colorado. We did each other's Christmas exchanges. My gift to her arrived pretty quickly for her. And then she sent one to me like a month ago. And it always takes ages sending things from America to England, longer than it takes from England to America. I don't know why. But throughout December, Royal Mail have been doing massive strikes. So not only does it take a while to get through border security anyway, it's now taking even longer with Royal Mail, so even now as of filming, I have not received my present from her. So we're just like, fingers crossed it's going to turn up whilst I'm away. Fingers crossed. <laughs> anyway, everything that I've got left is from my stocking from Santa. Yes, I am 23 years old and I get my stocking from Santa. You still have to have a bit of that Christmas magic, okay? But Santa did a very good job of continuing the theme. <laughs> got some Winnie the Pooh fluffy socks and there you got Pooh just resting on top of a honey pot and it says me time and I just realised on the back it has a better picture to show you, there you go. And now for the rest of the stocking, that is where the theme ends. So I think that was pretty good on a Winnie the Pooh theme up until now. So also in my stocking were these welly socks and honestly they're so thick and so fluffy, I love them. I've been needing a pair like these for a while, for like when I have my riding boots and my wellies on and it's just uncomfortable wearing regular socks and fluffy socks just don't do it. So now I have some proper welly socks. We love it. And look, how fitting is it on brand for me? It's got hedgehogs on it. And I don't know if you can see, but in between the hedgehogs, it's got like pink flowers. Honestly, if you could feel how thick and fluffy these are and so soft, I can't wait to wear these. Santa coming through with the little top ups. I love Impulse. It's probably like my favorite deodorant. So we've got very pink and hint of musk. Santa is literally encouraging me to have loads of self care nights. <laughs> so I've got a snowman super softening sheet mask and it's one of those. So it looks good. We've got some lime sherbet hand cream and some lip plump like lip gloss in the shade plump peach. Is it even Christmas if you don't get chocolates? <laughs> First off, we have the Milky Bar Festive Friends. I love Milky Bar. I think you've learned from this that I like white chocolate. We have some mini snowmen. And my favorite chocolate of all, all, all time, Milka. And look, it's a nice giant bar, so that'll keep me going. Then the final few bits, we have a little hedgehog's like little pouch purse. Nice, cute. 
Um, I've had one of these before and I kept meaning to grab another one, but Santa beat me to it. It's a car air freshener and it is in the scent Sweet Berries and Honey Blossom, which I feel like is a scent that's very on brand for Tori and Wonderland, don't you think? Sweet Berries and Honey Blossom, that just... And they're these really cool air fresheners um, for your car, like they literally just sit in a cup holder. Um, and they come in like this little like tin jar thing and it literally like you take off the lid it's got a peel back literally like a tin lid you peel it back put the lid on and then it has like these twisty slots so you can like control how much scent comes out um and yeah i i love them thank you santa then the very last present in my stocking from santa i was actually quite surprised about this one because it's a ticket to an event and i already knew i'm going to this because i was there when we brought tickets um, and my dad brought the tickets for all of us because we go every year, we've gone every year for the past however many <laughs> years um, so he brought the tickets for everyone and then we always pay him back but we always wait to pay him back once we know what the arrangements are for like travel and hotels and all of that so then I can pay him for like hotel and travel and everything in one go so I'd actually paid him back for it yet and this was in my stocking I'm getting it as a Christmas present which I was very surprised about it's tickets to the Speedway Grand Prix in Cardiff at the Principality Stadium and yeah if you follow me on Instagram or know anything about me you'll know I've gone to this every year since the year dot and this year Santa has got me tickets so yes that is everything that I got for Christmas oh my god I almost forgot something I was about to say that's everything I got for Christmas but there's one more thing that I couldn't quite show you and that's because I'm using it I would show you but I'm currently using it so I can't really I my parents got me a new ring light tripod because I have been needing one for so long. What you guys probably don't know while filming my videos, my ring light tripod broke like a while ago. And so the ring light itself still works, it's, although it's got cracks in it. The tripod itself doesn't work. So I've been having to like pile it up on those things. So while you were watching my video, my tripod was dangling dangerously on top of various setups. So now I've got, it's really fancy, it's huge. Uh, this massive ring light, it goes up to 7 foot, you could have it at any height you want from 7 foot, I'll probably never use 7 foot, that's so tall. Um, the ring light itself is huge, as you can see, the lighting looks... Yeah, I got a new ring light, but I can't show you that because I currently need it to talk to you. But yeah, that is everything I got for Christmas 2022. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and just quickly want to say, because this is the last video of 2022, thank you so much for all of your love and support throughout the year, whether you came into the year with me, you discovered me during the year, or you've literally just found me through this video now. I appreciate you, and I can't wait for more Tori and Wonderland adventures in 2023. So thank you very much for everything. And do share with me in the comment section down below what you got for Christmas and what was your favorite present. And I will see you guys later. Bye.